So this video is going to uh, deal with salts and you will learn about what is a salt and you will also learn about the acid base characters of a salt solution. A salt can be from a strong acid strong base, strong acid weak base or a weak acid strong base or a weak acid and a weak base. So let's learn what a salt is. To start with the definition, when an acid reacts with a base, salt and water are formed. And we call this reaction as the neutralization reaction. So in order to proceed further, let us just take an example of a salt. So consider the reaction of sodium hydroxide with HCl. It gives me NaCl and water. And you can see that the cation of the salt Na is from the base and the anion of the salt Cl is from the acid. So this is the basic thing you have to remember in a salt. Uh, cation comes from the base and the anion comes from the acid. So what happens when the reaction is reversed? So when the salt is dissolved in water, it will give me back the acid on the uh, base. And uh, the solution, the uh, nature of the solution, whether it will be acidic, basic or neutral, will depend on the acid and the base which is formed when you dissolve the salt in water. And this reaction is called as hydrolyzation. So let's learn about uh, different salt solutions formed and we start with a salt formed from a strong acid and strong base. Just uh, recollect what we learned earlier that the cation of the salt is from the base and the anion is from the acid. So for our references, uh, we will have a list of strong bases and the strong acid. The eight strong bases and the seven strong acids are listed there. So let us pick up the first uh, salt form from the strong base sodium hydroxide and the strong acid hydrochloric acid that is sodium chloride. When I take sodium chloride and dissolve it in water, I get sodium ions and chloride ions. And uh, we learned in the earlier chapter that sodium ion is the uh, is from a strong base and Cl- is the conjugate base of a strong acid. And hence, both of them will not have any reaction with water. So therefore, I do not get any hydrogen or the hydroxide ion in solution. Hence, a salt formed from a strong acid strong base will always give me a neutral solution. So how do I know? The salt is from a strong acid and strong base. So you have to memorize the eight strong bases and the seven strong acids. So uh, if a salt is given to you, just look at the cation. If it belongs to the strong base table and look at the anion, if it belongs to the strong acid table, then that salt will give you a neutral solution. For example, some of the examples are given there. Just consider sodium bromide, Na. Do you see it in the strong base table? Yes. Br. Do you see it in the strong acid table? Yes. Therefore, this will give me a neutral solution. And uh, let's just pick up some of the difficult ones. So, randomly I pick up um, cation rubidium from the strong bases and combine it with uh, ClO4 perchlorate. Therefore, the salts rubidium perchlorate, RbClO4, will give me a neutral solution. So, the best way to remember this, remember the tables. The strong base table, strong acid table. Any combination, the cation from this bases, anion from the acids, any combination salt form will give me a neutral solution. Whereas examples are given in that table, you can pick up uh, a few more uh, by combining a cation and an anion from the table given there. So we will go to the next group of salts. This is the group in, uh, uh, in which we have having a strong acid and a weak base. So let's just have the strong acid table here. We don't need the strong base table here. And uh, let us just pick up the first salt we need. That's uh, ammonium chloride formed from the weak base ammonium hydroxide and the strong acid hydrochloric acid. So I dissolve ammonium chloride in water. I get ammonium ions and chloride ions. So chloride ion being the conjugate uh, base of a strong acid has no reaction with water. But look at ammonium ions. Ammonium ion is the conjugate acid of the base. Therefore, ammonium ion, when I put it in water, it will give me ammonia and H3O+. 
the presence of H3O plus hydrogen ions will make the solution acidic. So we can conclude that salt formed from a strong acid and a weak base will give me an acidic solution. So how do I uh, identify a strong acid weak base salt? So again as I told you before you have to know the strong acid table in this case and combine it with any weak base you know. Some of the common weak base you always use is ammonium hydroxide. So pick up um, or magnesium hydroxide. These are the common things we use. So a combination of ammonium hydroxide and say HBr will give me ammonium bromide. And one of the examples I've given is um, magnesium chlorate, Mn, uh, MgClO3 twice. So ClO3 is in the strong acid table. And the magnesium, you know, it's not there in the strong base table. Therefore, it has to be a weak one. And therefore, it will give me an um, acidic solution. So, what you have to do is, the anion should be in the strong acid table and the cation should not be in the strong base table. So, that kind of a salt will give me the acidic solution. Or just, it's simple, no? Acid is strong, the, so the salt formed from the strong acid will be acidic. So let's uh, go to the next kind of uh, salt and put that in water and see what kind of solution it gives. So this is a weak acid and a strong base salt. And therefore let's just uh, have the strong base table uh, as reference. And consider the first salt we have uh, as sodium fluoride formed from the strong base sodium hydroxide and the weak acid HF. So which dissociates into sodium ions and fluoride ion. So dissolve it in water. We know that uh, as uh, before, it's, uh, from before, sodium ion does not react with water. But the fluoride ion, the weak base from the, uh, no, sorry, strong base from the weak acid HF will react with water as shown and give me hydroxide ion solution. So, the presence of hydroxide ion will make the solution basic. So, therefore, in conclusion, salt form from a weak acid and a strong base will give basic solution. So, similar to the previous one, so how will I know a solution, a salt is from a strong base and a weak acid? Look at the cation of the salt, if it belongs to the strong base and look at the anion of the salt, if it doesn't belong to the strong acid table, then it will give me a basic solution. So, it's uh, bottom line is, you have to remember the strong base, strong acid table. So we are going to deal with the next group of salt, a salt formed from a weak acid and a weak base. In this case, uh, it is possible to get uh, three different kind of solution, acidic, neutral and basic. So let us take up the first example, the ammonium fluoride salt formed from ammonium hydroxide and HF. And uh, when uh, it is dissolved in water, the ammonium ion form reacts with water to give me the hydronium ion. The fluoride ion reacts with water to give me the uh, hydroxide ion. So in order to know whether the salt will be acidic or basic, we should know which one of these reactions is more favored. So we need to consider the ionization constant. The Ka for the first reaction, ammonium ion, is 5.6 10 to the power of negative 11. And the Kb for the fluoride reaction to give the hydroxide ion is also the almost the same and therefore both the reactions are equally favored and we will expect a solution of ammonium fluoride to be neutral. Consider a second case, a uh, salt of ammonium cyanide formed from ammonium hydroxide and hydrocyanic acid. And uh, the reaction of the ions with water is given there. Ammonium ion gives you the hydronium ion, cyanide ion gives me the hydroxide ion. And if I consider the Ka and Kb, we realize that the Kb reaction is more favored because it has a larger value or in other words the reaction of cyanide combining with water to give you HCN and OH- minus is more favored and because of the presence of more hydroxide ion the solution will be basic. Okay, we will do one more example. The uh, example of trimethylamine fluoride or the salt form from amine and hydrofluoric acid and uh, when these reacts with water I get the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion. The Ka and the Kb are given. 
you realize that the Ka is uh, greater than Kb and therefore it is the acidic reaction which is more favored and I get more hydronium ion and resulting in an acidic solution. Therefore, it's not as easy as the previous cases. A strong acid, uh, strong base or a weak acid, strong base or a strong base and weak acid. A weak acid, weak base, we, ca we need more uh, data the data of acid ionization and the base ionization to find out whether the solution will be neutral, basic or acidic. So let's just sum up uh, what we have learned. So what you have to remember is remember the strong bases table, strong acid table and remember that strong acid, strong base salts will be neutral, strong acid, weak base salts will be acidic, weak acid, strong base uh, salts will be basic but in case of a weak acid, weak base salt it can be acidic, neutral or basic.